All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, to the Labachayim. Back at it again with another Lord's with an edifying lesson. Of course, I'm the brother Nakwam from GMS Raleigh. But before going any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops. A great millstone who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% true according to the Bible and her rule well. Inshallah, Labachoyim, Wabarakim, Shayar Shirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is going to be the book of Isaiah 29, verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. Now, the word visit goes into punish. Okay, this is one of the punishments that the Lord brings upon the wicked of our people with these heaters, man. All right, through these different thunderstorms, okay, because what comes out the thunder? Lightning, right? He says, and with earthquakes, yeah, you got earthquakes everywhere, earthquakes in diverse places. As a matter of fact, I, Big Bro pulled up his uh, earthquake app, and I believe, uh, it said uh, last Saturday that June was like uh, over 6,000 earthquakes. And it caused a whole lot of deletion and devastations, man. Caused a whole lot of city damage, man. That's from that's, that's punishment from you. How about you? How about Who you even call God and Jesus Christ, man? This is in with great noise and with storm and tempest, which goes into see your hurricanes. Because a tempest is a mighty storm, and indeed, hurricanes are a mighty storm from the Lord, right along with those tornadoes. This is and the flame of the vile fire, right? These different wildfires, volcano eruptions, uh, combustions, and car explosions, and things of that nature, man. But the ultimate fire the Lord is going to be bringing is the nuclear warheads to destroy America from shot off in these different countries and the laser beams from the chairs, which you even call UFOs, which you even call space spaceships, okay? So let's read into this article, a little bit of this article, not too much. This is published today. It says, Hurricane Barrel roars by Jamaica after killing at well, Slakia, after deleting Slakia, after deleting at least, which is more than that, six people in the Southeast Caribbean. And that's our people, man. Okay, from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay? Banyamyan. You know? So 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 guess what, man? That's that's punishment from you. Because what our people worship down there? They worship um Rastafariism, Christianity, um, different forms of religions down there. As a matter of fact, let, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let's see. As a matter of fact, uh, it says, the, I've typed in main religion in Jamaica. It says Christianity is the predominant religion in Jamaica. Yeah, see that um that damn wacky tacky Christian that plantation Christianity is the most religion, uh, the most worshipped religion on the planet Earth. That's why the Lord is destroying this damn uh place, man, and all over the world, man. You know, then of course down there in the West Indies they worship that damn Rastafariism, man. Some some damn Holly Selassie, you know. You know, you got Jehovah's Witnesses. This is you got Roman Catholicism, um, Pentecostal, you know, Seven Day Adventist. You know, just a bunch of dead Baptists down there. But that's why the Lord brought that hurricane, man. And it's of course there's way more deletions and injuries than that, but that's just reported, right? And uh, let me do this before I uh, read on. You know, I got to go into the definition of the word barrel. Because the barrel is also is a uh, is a stone. As a matter of fact, um, if I am mistaken, Lo Yahusha, who you eager to call Jesus Christ, uh, his garment was uh, the color of barrel, which is a green. Oh, hold on, bear with me, bear with me, hold on, bear with me, hold on. Let me look up, let me look, let me look up some something right fast. Let's see, yeah, green. Uh, 
I believe it's Daniel's the 10th chapter. Let me see. I'm going to bring that out. Because the spiritual that they named that, that, uh, that hurricane barrel. And because Lawyer Howard Shaw's garment is barrel. This is the book of Daniel, chapter uh, 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded, whose loins was girded, uh, were girded with fine gold of ephahs. His body was also like the barrel, which is the color of his garment, which is a, which is green, which is a which is a which is the green is a color of healing, color of alkaline. And that's exactly what the Lord is going to bring. Because this earth is defiled right now, man. Okay. This earth needs a this earth needs a, a, a severe major cleansing or a, a major detox. And, the, and, and, and that, uh, that herb, so to speak, that the Lord is going to use to, 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 to do the ultimate detox is those missiles and the laser beams from the chest, which you're going to call UFOs, man. His body, which is Lord Yahweh Shai's, body also was like the barrel the color of his garment and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as the lamp of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass when you go into the that word brass it goes into bronze which bronze is a a derivative of brown and it says it was like in color so the lawyer howard shah is a man of color all right Cause these people like to say, oh, he was um, he didn't have a color. He was transparent. He was a spirit. A color doesn't matter. You know these stupid ass arguments that these wacky techie Christians like to make. You know, that's why the Lord's destroying their asses, man. You know, we can't stand wacky techie Christians, but we understand they're a necessary evil. But when the Lord's gonna destroy you, people, man, and you wicked ass, there's the lights, of course. It says, and the voice of his words was like the voice of a multitude, cause he had a Lord, he had a masculine. Uh, masculine, austere voice, man. Love you, how a shout who you ignorant cause Jesus Christ. So now let's read into this article. I just wanted to bring out that precept. It says, uh, Kingston, Jamaica. All right, a lot of wickedness goes down there, especially in Kingston. It says, a uh, hurricane barrel was roaring by, J by Jamaica on Wednesday with Islanders scrambling to make preparations after the powerful Category 4 storm earlier deleted at least six people and caused significant damage in the Southeast Caribbean. All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rekakwadash. Let's see here. In Kingston, people boarded up windows, fishermen pulled their boats out of the water, and workers dismantled roadside advertising boards to protect them from lashing winds. It says, uh, Kingston resident Pauline Lynch said that she took stockpiled food and water in anticipation of the storm's arrival. With wind already whipping a light rain, Lynch said, I have no control over what is coming, so I just have to pray that all people of Jamaica is safe and we don't have to suffer no deaths, no loss, which 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 the hell with that. All right. The Lord's gonna delete who he wants to delete. Okay? So 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 the so so nah the, 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 the Lord is tired of your damn wickedness, man. You know? The Lord's getting tired of wickedness. As a matter of fact, hold on. Because I just looked it up and Googled the main religion over there is that damn plantation of Christianity, man. That's why they have a bunch of daggone Stockholm Syndrome uh, West Indians over there, man, which is our people from the tribe of uh, Benjamin. Um, let me see. Hold on. Um, damn, I forgot. Hold on. No longer. Hold on. No longer. Hold my peace. Hold my peace. Concerning. Concerning. Wickedness. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm typing it in. Let's see. Yep. This is 2nd Edges chapter 15 verse 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. 
which they profanely commit. Yeah, and, and, and that wacky tacky Christian, that plant taste of Christianity, that's profanity, man. You're saying God loves everybody. You're saying that the Lord uh, is a so-called white man, which is which that goes back to Esau. That's what you two-thirds say. Well, you say that it doesn't matter. You can call the name whatever you, you can call the Lord whatever you want. That's profanity, man. Okay, the Lord hates that. Profanity is not shit, damn, ass, you know what I'm saying? None of that. That's just rude speech. You worshiping the idol and teaching false doctrine, that's, that's profanity in the eyes of the Lord. Because profanity means outside the temple. What's the temple? The scriptures, man. If you're going outside the temple, you're being profane, man. And then if you don't repent, the Lord is going to destroy you or judge your ass, man. But nevertheless, let's keep reading. It says, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those in those things. It says, which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. As a matter of fact, the, the name of this lesson is, this is an example of the Lord answering our prayers. Because we pray for things like this to happen, man. To hell with the two-thirds, man. These wicked-ass ninjas of all the tribes, man. You know? And then you got the brothers that passed on. They're continually crying to you, how about shit, how shot for us on the earth, man. So the Lord is answering our prayers, man. As a matter of fact, hold on. Before I read on, let me see. Let me see. The Lord hears the cries of the righteous. Bear with me. Yeah, man. This is this is a this is a prayer answer right here. You know, and then of course you got the men of the Lord down there in the West Indies, and the Lord's protecting them. You have about Shema Shah's protecting them, man. The hopeful elect down there. Okay, this is uh Psalms thirty four and uh seventeen. It says the righteous cry. And you have about shipping how it shot here of, and this is one of our cries. This is one of our prayers. Man, the Lord sends more evils, more judgments, more torturous, brutal, swift judgments upon these wicked ass people with these heathens, man. You know, this is one of them. It says, and deliver them out of all their troubles. Like once again, like I said, yeah, this is trouble for the wicked, but for the men of the Lord, the Lord says, I'm going to deliver you out of that. I'm going to take care of you. These storms, these different forms of judgment, this, this is for the wickedness of the two thirds and these heathens, man. Like a scripture, like the scripture says, uh, all these judgments were created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood, man. You know. And speaking of the flood, you know what I'm saying? Hey, during the time of Noah, you could just imagine, man. You know, you know, this is this is this is this is um, this is a cakewalk compared to the flood. But anyway, let's read on. It says, and by midday, winds howled in the capital, turning the seas into churling whitecaps as Burl's eye scrapped by the eyeless northern coast. Let's see. Of course, I got the uh, etymology of the word barrel. Okay. Um, of course, it's a, uh, it's a stone. All right, it's a very beautiful green stone, man. It's a stone or a color of healing, you know. Um, and once again, that's the color of Lord Yahweh Shah's garment, as we just read in Daniel's the tenth chapter, in the fifth and sixth verse, man. Lord Yahweh Shah, his garment is beryl, so it's spiritual. It's all spiritual. It says we are very concerned about a wide variety of life-threatening impacts in Jamaica. Including including storm surge, high winds, and flash floodings, says Johns Porter, chief meteorologist of ASU or ACCU weather. Porter called Barrel the strongest and most dangerous hurricane threat that Jamaica has faced probably in decades. And all praise to you, how about Shim How Shot? May you have a by Shim How Shot protect the men of the Lord that's down there in the West Indies and Jamaica, man. We got brothers down there, you know. May you have about Shimei Al-Sha continue to protect them. And may he punish the two-thirds that's down there, man. The wicked of our people with these heathens down there. Um, let me see. Um, 
that was pretty much it. Now, like I said, I, I didn't want to read too too much into the article. You know, it's like it. But yeah, it says it's the most powerful hurricane that uh, that Jamaica has ever faced, man, in decades. And who brought that? Yeah, how about shipping how it shot? As a matter of fact, you know you gotta we know we gotta get that second address. You already know where I'm going, the 14th chapter. Now we gotta grab that. Got about two more precepts to wrap it up. This is the book of Second Edges 14 and 16. For yet greater evils, evils goes into bad times. Then those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. And we just read that. This was the most strongest, most powerful hurricane that hit the West Indies or Jamaica, right? You know? So that's a greater evil, right? there. That's an example of a greater evil, all right? Because they had bad hurricanes down there, of course, because that's Hurricane Central because it's an island. But this is the most powerful one out of all of them, all right? We just read it. So that's a greater evil, right? There. That's a greater judgment. Uh, Yahavabah Shemal Shah is sending over there for, for our people's wickedness, man. And I just looked up that what's the main religion over there in, in Jamaica is is plantation Christianity, man. Worshipping damn Serapos Christos, man. You know? It's damn Seja Boys, yeah. A damn, damn devil Edomite, man. You know? So, Yahavabah Shemal Shah, he, yeah, he's getting tired, man. I just read the scripture in Second Edges earlier. That he's holding his tongue no more concerning their wickedness, man. The Lord's getting tired of our damn people's wickedness, man. You know, because we tired, how much more the Lord? But uh, let's go to the book of Isaiah, the 28th chapter. Bear with me, bear with me. And there's many, many, many scriptures I can pull on this, but I'm just going to touch about two more. You know, I don't want to make this too, too long, but I make sure, do want to make sure it's edifying. This is the book of uh, Isaiah 28, verse 2. Behold, the Lord, Yehovah Bahashim, Yehovah have a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hail, so different hail storms, that's judging from the Lord, and, destroy, and, and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing. We just read in the article about how the winds was howling, uh, that the rain was intensifying, you know, so on and so forth, right? It says, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, which is one into your hurricanes, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. And I saw from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, as a matter of fact, let's get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Because it says uh, six people got deleted, which we know is more than that. It's just what they reported. But who deleted them? The Lord. This is the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See, not, see thou that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. So there's no Serapis Christos, a.k.a. Cesare Borgia, okay? Uh, there's no um, Holly Selassie, you know what I'm saying? There's no... Uh, uh, seven day advantage. There's no damn um, what else they worship? They say they worship over there, but pretty much a bunch of Roman Catholicism, you know, right along with Rastafariism. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no idols up there with Yahweh by Shimi Hawasha. Okay, Hala Salas ain't up there, or a uh, Jah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't up there with the Lord. Ain't ain't up there in the spiritual world. Tell him say, yeah, man, hey. You got you got, you got the you got to calm the judgment down. You, you have to uh you have to get smoke the ganja. Like now, hell no, that ain't going up there in the spirit world, man. Whatever the Lord says go is happening. Okay, and that was all that was pleasing to you, how about shit me how shot, and there's way more to come. It says I kill and I make alive. This is the Lord speaking. It says I kill. I kill. Which we just read you seeing it right now. I kill. And I make alive. So all the people that survived, that was the Lord that made them survive. All the people that got deleted, that was the Lord. I wound and I heal. All those that got injured, that was the Lord. The ones who got healed from the injury or got patched up, that was the Lord. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. As a matter of fact, I read 
in an article it said uh i have no control of the situation now i think that was that woman that said that uh she prayed that nothing nobody dies but guess what it guess guess what people got deleted man so the lord ain't hearing your damn wacky techie christians prayers first of all you're praying to some damn um jeebus man the hell with some damn jeebus man you know let's see uh, this is the book of Proverbs 28, verse 9. It says, he or she that turneth away the ear from hearing the law. And how do you hear the law? From the servants, the prophets. Once again, you got you got GMS, men of the Lord down there, man, in Jamaica, all right, in the, uh, in the West Indies, man. You know, we had a brother come down from Jamaica and, and fellowship with us, you know, as part of GMS Jamaica. You know what I mean? So, 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 uh, man, so, 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 man, I'm just going to read. This is Proverbs 28 and 9. This is he or she that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Yeah, we're going to tell you the do's and the don'ts according to the Bible. We're going to tell you your nationality. We're going to tell you who to serve. And we're going to tell you who our enemies are. Okay. And we're going to tell you that you need to repent before it's too late. It says, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So that prayer that she sent up is an abomination to the Lord. That's why it didn't get answered. But our prayer got answered because this is one of our prayers right here. That the Lord sends more bad times, more evils, more judgments upon the wickedness of our people, man. The two-thirds, man. We don't like the two-thirds. We hate the two-thirds, man. So we constantly send our curses upon the two-thirds of our people and these heathens, man. And this is an example of the Lord answering our prayers, man. It, it says it was the, this is the strongest hurricane that hit Jamaica, man, the island of Jamaica, you know? So that, that that's, that's, a, that's, that's a prayer's answer right there. And you have about Shimmy House shots, but take them the minute of the Lord that's down there, you know? We pray for the whole full leg, and we send curses upon the two-thirds, man. Wherever they're at, especially over here in America, Babylon the Great, though, that's the main focus. So, hey, with that, like I said, I can go on and on and on with the scriptures <laughs> concerning this, this lesson right here. But I pray that this lesson was edifying. I pray that this was straight to the point. I pray that this was uh, an exhortation of, 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 of comfort. You know, the Lord, the, Lord, the Lord is looking out for us, man. You know, keep praying, keep fighting. And we and repent daily to you. How about shit, man? How shy? Talking to myself first and foremost. So, hey, with that, Lord's when this was edifying. I'm the brother of Quan from GMS Raleigh. Shalom. Lord's until next time. Shalom to the elect.